So five, sex dreams. So um, sex is the, uh, is the form and the function of sex, the, the primary function of sex is to create a new a baby, which ends up developing into a new person. So people, people in dreams are characteristics of your own personality. You know, the, the words are in, in the words, you know, character, person, the characteristics of your own personality. You know, so if you, if I have a dream of, you know, my cousin, you know, like throwing a rock at my face, it's not going to be like, hey, I need to, you know, stay away from my cousin because he's, he's out to get me. You know, no, my cousin's irresponsible. So that's how I see him, because like, just like animals. How do I see this person? What's the main quality I see in them? Oh, irresponsible, unresponsible, unreliable. Oh, ways that I have been unreliable are hurting me. You know, you know and hurting my, you know, I get to go deeper into that dream, but pretty much hurting me. Um, okay, I can see that. So people represent different characteristics. Now, say I, say I am unresponsible and I want to become a responsible person. Well, if I'm not a responsible person, I do have that within me, but I haven't, it hasn't been brought to the forefront because it hasn't been developed as, as a, a, per, a, a characteristic. You know, I don't have that characteristic within my personality, so I have to develop it. So what do I have to do? I have to create it. So just like in order to create a new person, you have to have sex in order to create a baby, which develops into a new person so sex in a dream will represent creating something new some sort of new aspect of yourself the act of creating that is is going to be what sex represents so if i wanted to if i started okay the first thing you're going to create is an idea okay i can see myself being more responsible i have an idea of what it would be like to be more responsible and as i as i think on that and contemplate that idea more and more as the days go on then it kind of formulates into a stronger idea. Oh, wow, yeah, if I was more responsible, then I wouldn't ever have, I'd save money because I wouldn't have to pay all these late payments on, on you know, my phone bill and my rent. And, you know, I wouldn't ever have to have overdraft fees. And so I'd, I'd, I'd already save a lot of more money, let alone make more money. Yeah, if I was more responsible, I wouldn't just do the bare minimum at work. I'd, you know, I'd go a little bit above and beyond to kind of manifest more money for myself. If I was, if I was more responsible, my relationships would be, would be better because you know i'd be more dependable as a person i i you know things like that and so as you as you're thinking on that i haven't i haven't done anything to be more responsible yet but i'm really formulating a stronger idea the idea of being me being responsible is gestating within my mind just like a baby once this once the seed is planted into the womb then in the within the womb it can, the baby continues to form, it continues to develop. It starts to get hands, legs, eyes, organs, you know, it starts to, starts to grow, you know, it starts to build until it's ready to be birthed out into the physical. So, you know, it's the same way with, with this idea. Okay, it's really taking form now. I'm really seeing how much it can benefit. Me. I'm really understanding just how great this is going to be. Okay, what's the first step I need to do to be res more responsible? Okay, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start being more responsible in this way. And then as you start to have, you know, uh, signs, physical signs of being more responsible, that's it being birthed. It's now become physicalized. It's now the physical part of yourself. So it will, so then you'll st stop, not really have sex dreams. And then, and then you'll have preg pregnancy dreams. Um, you know, if you're a guy, maybe you'll have dreams of other, somebody else being pregnant. Or, I mean, you know, sometimes guys do have dreams of them being pregnant. I've had people come to me with those dreams. But then once you actually start being responsible, then you'll have start to have baby dreams. But sex, sex dreams, there's, you know, sex, two different types of sex. Some people have sex to try to create a baby. Some people just do it for the enjoyment and pleasure of it. So if you're in a dream and that's the kind of sex you're having, just the enjoyment of it, it's kind of going to represent how you're toying with the idea of evolving into someone new. You know, having sex for the fun of it is going to be how, you know, you you talk about what you're wanting to do different and and things like that, but you're not really taking any action on it. So if so that's kind of the form and function and, and the interpretation. So if I was someone who was having a dream like this, then I would well with the one, I would I pretty much I would just assess who am I wanting to become? Who am I wanting to evolve into? And then what steps am I taking in order to do that? What are the first steps I need to take in order to do that? Or what steps haven't I taken that I need to take? 
But if you're taking the steps, then you're doing the work. And that's always a good thing.